got a damn tiger up in the bar. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Come on. Let's see if we can find the old goat. Yeah! Let's go. We ain't got time to wait. Come on! I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I can trust. Look, I think I see someone. Quick as you can. Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, Let's too. Let's go. It's a bad idea to split up right now. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your pa seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did? We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing. Oh my god, the barn's on fire!
get to the horse! The hell you, will you? Get that horse back! Get it moving! Sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, ho hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John, thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's there enough. What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. 
That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and she, it's hard for her to get up and about. So I want to I want to bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look, don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. 
shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Don't mention it. Go on now. from Pike's base and we're heading in. Have a lunch. Dear sir, hello. Here's what I had. Let's see. General store says they are waiting on a shipment of candy. That all? Hope you like it. Hello, sir. Take you for a short trigger, man, sir. Something special you're looking for? Here we are. That's what I've got for sale. I hear there's a pack rat who's been yamping all over. Why, hello. As you can see, I carry the finest artillery. We need to speak later. Appreciate it. Something you got? How do you do? Those still rub me the wrong way. Hello. He told me to take father's college fund and use it to buy land out here. Sorry, mister. And watch it, son. <laughs> <laughs> 